Hey, welcome back. In this video, I want to go over an example that we are given a vector and a matrix. And the question is kind of worded something like, show that x is an eigenvector of a and find the corresponding eigenvalue. So in this problem, we're told that vector x is an eigenvector of a. And basically, all we want to do is just show that we can construct uh, a statement that looks like this, where we have ax is equal to lambda x. So ultimately, this is just saying we're multiplying a matrix to a vector and we're, we're getting the same thing as if we had just multiplied a certain scalar to that vector and if this is the case then x here is an eigenvector and lambda is an eigenvalue. So let's fill out what we know so far. We know that we have uh, matrix A here it's just 4, 8, 6, 26 and then we have vector x which is just 1, 3 and the thing that we're looking for here is, is uh, an eigenvalue that can satisfy this. And if we can find an eigenvalue that satisfies this, then we'll know that, uh, well, then we'll have solved the problem, really. We'll, we'll say that the statement is, is doable, and we found the eigenvalue that makes that happen. So let's solve the left-hand side first. We can basically just treat this as matrix multiplication. And uh, with that said, we're going to get 4 times 1 plus 8 times 3. This will be the first element of our resulting uh, vector here and then the second row or the second element here is going to be 6 times 1 plus 26 times 3. All right this simplifies to 4 plus 24 on the top and 6 plus 78 on the bottom and that simplifies ultimately just to 28 and uh, the second element is 84. And so when we set that, because we were just working on the left-hand side, so we haven't done anything to the right-hand side of this expression, so if we just write it there, we still have lambda times the vector x. Um, and uh, basically we're looking now for the lambda value that is hopefully going to make this true. So if we look at this about what could the lambda value possibly be, well to get the first element here through scalar multiplication to be equal to 28, if this is a 1 then we have to multiply it by 28. So let's try setting lambda equal to 28. And if we do that, like this, uh, we have times 1, 3. And if we, if we distribute this in through scalar multiplication, we just get the top element is 28, and the bottom element is 28 times 3, that is 84. So there we go. What we have is we have the original left-hand side here, and it's equal to the original right-hand side over there. Probably write that a little bit nicer. There we go. <laughs> So basically our lambda or our eigenvalue is 28 and because 28 satisfies ax equals lambda x then that is, that is telling us that x is an eigenvector belonging to lambda and lambda is an eigenvalue of a so we have solved the problem.